All right, sorry about that. Pick up uh, where we left off. I put the wrong function in the calculator. So if you want to see what my mistake was, I put it in the calculator this way. That's why I do race stuff. I got a different answer. Hey, it can happen to anybody. Um, when I put it in the calculator, it's supposed to be over R. I put it over R squared. Okay, so that's something that simply cannot happen. All right, so I'll delete that down there. Okay, and just put it over R. And that should make things a little bit better, okay? Uh, remember, when you get your window going on, um, if you start at zero... Remember, um, R right here, if you square it, multiply it by H, you get 64, which means R really isn't anywhere near 64. But 64 is definitely going to be bigger than R, so you could try that as the upper element of the domain. If you do that, though, you kind of get this min that occurs right here. It's hard to see. And then you can see that you have so much more space here than is necessary. You don't need to go out to 64. So technically, you could even try to sketch it right now if you want to, try to calculate the min. But really, um, you know, maybe we went out a little bit too far. Maybe we should go, I think I went to 20 um, and zoom zero that way. But there are other problems here because of the way that the uh, calculator is set up, especially this newer calculator. I don't know if you have the issue with the uh, yellow calculator. But this actually looks decent, right? You definitely see that min going on there. But once again, be careful. If you sketch it this way, you're saying the min surface area is equal to zero. So when we go back in through the bathroom window, I want to know, uh, I want to make sure my Y min is equal to zero. Okay, and then if I hit graph, then I can actually see a pretty decent graph here. So we'll go with this. Remember, you don't really care about what's happening to the left or to the right. It's all about this minimum point right here. That's what we're focusing in on for this graph. Let's calculate that min. A little bug action, a bug, 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 a bug. A bug. I think go to the right over here. And you can see we end up with a little bit of grain of salt. Okay, so it looks like four comma what, 150.796. Okay, and remember what those values uh, represent there. Okay, that four represents that radius of the cylinder of minimum surface area. And this 150.796 actually represents the minimum surface area. Don't forget to answer the question. They actually wanna know what is uh, the minimum surface area. That's what it says over here. Okay, we know the minimum surface area. So min surface area, I don't know what I'm writing. That's supposed to be min surface area is equal to uh, 150.796. And I can hear you guys yelling right now, units. I need units. So Julia's yelling it out. She's very loud in class uh, during first period. Anyway, so uh, units right here. Um, so cubic inches was what the volume was in terms of. So the radius would be in terms of inches, but the surface area would be in terms of square inches, okay? Because it's actually a measurement of area. Okay, so a cute little problem there. This one usually bothers people just because they're like, how do I get the surface area of a cylinder? I don't think you'll see something like that on the uh, assessment anyway. But once again, uh, Sutton cute to play around with. So probably tonight's homework is going to be for you guys to, uh, you know, work on that assessment. You'll have the weekend. You'll probably have Monday as well, okay? Um, you have a lot of time in class, okay, to get things done. So probably Monday I'll give you guys that. I know you got a lot of stuff coming up, APs and other classes and stuff like that. So I'll give you that time, like I said, on Monday to work on the test. And then we'll go into our next topic, related rates, probably Tuesday. Probably. I mean, I might change my mind on all this stuff. Make sure you read uh, the website. And sorry for the little, you know, four minute video after the bigger video before, but obviously I made a mistake. So it is what it is. Um, hope everybody's doing well out there. I hope you're safe and healthy with your families. And I really do hope to see you guys soon. This is Berto signing off. Adios.